Hi, welcome to our Citizen Miano webinar series. Today we're going to discuss LFB. I'm Patrick Acuff. I'm 36 years old. There we go. 36 years old. I've dedicated myself the last 15 years to learning multi axis machining and, in particular, Swiss type lathes. I've worked in production manufacturing with a focus on aerospace, medical, and fuel systems with emphasis on constant process improvements. Today, I would like to discuss LFE and, patent, and citizens' patented technology. Let's take a closer look at what is LFE, LFE ready machine models, benefits of LFE and details of each mode. We'll look at programming and applications. We'll see LFE in some action and videos. And lastly, we'll summarize and take any questions you may have. So let's start with what is LFE? LFE is low frequency vibration. This technology is possible by synchronizing the X and Z axis with the spindle phasing or rotation. LFB generates an air cut in between the tool and the workpiece and works great on tough to break materials where you have chip issues. Now let's take a detailed look at exactly how LFB works. As you can see, the tool oscillates on the axis, in this case, the Z axis, generating a waveform on the face. Here you can see in the chart the corrugated waveform that's created on the face of the first pass. Then on the second pass, we offset the corrugations based on the arguments in the program, and we create an air cut in between the corrugations, guaranteeing an air cut in between the tool and the workpiece. We continue offsetting the corrugations and creating air cut in between the segments for the remainder of the cut. And on the very last pass, LFE is automatically shut off, the oscillation stops, so we can square up the shoulder on our finished part. Now let's take a quick look at availability of LFE. We offer two versions of the L12, L20, three versions, including B-axis, the D25, which also has B-axis, L32, three models, type 8, 10, and 12, 12 also has B-axis, and also our Miano model, BNA42 GTY, which is a sliding headstock lathe. I bet you're all asking yourself, how will this LFB stuff help me? Well, let's dig into that a little closer. With Swiss machines, we typically take long, deep cuts that generate long, stringy chips that can interfere with the tools, are finished and finished parts. With LFV, we have a better controlled process without long stringy chips, and we have less chip wrap on our finished parts. We also see better cycle time and some improved tool life on drilling. And we can do this because we can reduce or eliminate the pecs altogether. Lastly, you will see by the photo, the chips are less in overall volume, which will take up less space in your chip bin, and you'll reduce the amount of errors caused by long stringy chips. Some other benefits of LFE are because we can use the X and Z axis together, most common machining operations are possible. Just turn on the G165 code and the axis generates LFE automatically. Next, let's take a deeper look into each mode. In LFE mode one, which is multiple oscillations per one spindle revolution, we have the ability to generate up to four chip breaks per one spindle rotation. In mode two, it's multiple spindle revolutions per one oscillation. In this mode, we can generate up to six rotations and then break the chip. Another great thing about LFE is how easy it is to program. Anyone that has a Citizen machine knows Citizen uses GNM code with a series of arguments to simplify very complex machining operations. So here you can see G165, which is LFB on, P1, which is mode one, the Q sets the vibration amplitude, D sets the number of oscillations per one spindle revolution, and LFE is generated automatically. You can see in the chart here the air cut that's generated with these parameter settings. 
in the picture, you can see the very small chip that's, gener that's generated in LFB mode one. So next, let's talk about LFB mode two. Again, very simple to program, just one line of code. We're telling it G165, LFE mode on, P2, which is mode two. We're gonna set the E argument, which is the number of spindle revolutions per one oscillation. And again, you can choose up to six. R is the spindle retraction at oscillation. And we have a, another argument there to fine tune the chip break. Um, and then LFE is outputted automatically. Here you can see in the chart, we're using two and a half spindle rotations per one oscillation. You can see the air cut that's generated at the end of the two and a half rotations and continues on for the remainder of the cut. In the picture shown, you can see a little bit longer chip that's generated in mode two, but still very small and easy to manage. We also have the ability to use LFE on live tools. Again, just one simple line of code. But because citizen machines have the ability to do live tool spindle feed per revolution, we can calculate LFV automatically. If LFV is not desired, we can isolate one line of code by simply putting a comma V0 at the end of the cutting code, and LFV is halted during just that line. Some things to consider when using LFV. Your cycle time may be slightly impacted because we are creating an air cut in between the segments. The cutting conditions, RPM and feed rate do have limits. With LFV, there could be a small difference in finish. But with the proper cutting tools and the proper knowledge of LFE, it's a game changer for many of our customers. Next, let's take a deep look into some materials being cut in LFE. In the video shown here is a video I took from a, a customer that was struggling with chip wrap on their delicate Teflon parts. After just a few pieces, the tools would have lots of chips on them and cause interference with the tool and cause interference with the part. Next, I wanna show you a little bit slow motion of the turning operation that's generating some very fine LFB chips. Again, you can see how after just a few pieces, those long stringy chips would cause a lot of interference with our parts. On this last video, they're cutting nickel, nickel alloys. And stainless steels, nickel alloys, Grooving can be very, very difficult. It typically creates long stringy chips, as you can see there, and it also creates a very fine stringy chip on the finished pass, which can cause a lot of interference with the tooling, with other features on the part, and also your pickoff. So we have a lot better chance at a nice clean pickoff if we can get all those chips out of there. Lastly, I'd like to, to highlight and summarize some things about LFB. So to recap, LFB is when the X and Z axis are synchronized to the spindle with phasing. Because they're synchronized, unlike the macros used in the past or with other competitors, this technology is fully programmable and very easily adjustable. LFB is really a secret weapon that can be turned on with just one G code. With no active G code, the machine just runs as normal without LFB, so you can use it as it's needed. LFB works very well on small drills, thin walled parts, and other delicate machining operations, and especially in applications with hard to break chip materials like nickel alloys, stainless steels, copper plastic, and many more. With that said, let's break some chips. For more information about LFE and other powerful Syncom features, please contact us or visit us on the web at lgevans.com. Thank you very much for your time, and now I'll open it up to questions.